and we are live at Humber Valley RC Flyers Group and I'm Zoltan from NG Hobbies don't go to the store I'm not there to, right now I'm trying to fly my Parrot Disco and this is gonna be the first flight the maiden flight for this so I have the controller the Parrot is already booted up we have a green light flashing on there and I'm just gonna connect my iPad here trying to log on to the iPad and I will need to I think turn on the data as well and go back here and turn on the data cellular data so we have connection okay there we go so there is our Parodisco image that is what we get from there hi and since i've never done this before i will do as they said in the book push the button throw it away it's gonna go up and circle but before we do that i'm going to check the altitude at which is set to fly so safety piloting loiter altitude is set to 33 meters let's bring that down to like 30 meters altitude so I want it to loiter at 30 meters, pitch mode normal, loiter mode clockwise. All right, so let's go out and check this out. Come Daniel. Yeah. Okay, we'll put the remote control down and my hands are already freezing, it's not even cold yet. And I push the launch button on it. Oh, it's going and going and going. Not gonna lie, I was half expecting it to crash. No crash. <laughs> it's actually flying. And I've got the image here. You see, and it's doing the loitering over the takeoff position. And it is flying, and it's supposed to be flying till I touch the remote. And I either go up or down. Let me bring it back this way. All right, so let's go and fly now, straight out. Speed up a little bit and go up higher. Do you want the camera on the drone or on the feed? No, on the, on the feed here. Okay. All right. Let's go up higher a bit. Image is breaking apart. But no problem. Do a roll. Let's turn it around and come back. <laughs> I don't see the drone anymore. And my image broken apart. So then we're supposed to hit the home button to kind of send it to come home. And I can see it now. It's coming back. It's coming back, it's right there. I don't have connection to it. It's actually... I think it's circling. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come home. So I hit the home button. I don't have video, but it's coming home. Okay, right. actually. Look at that, no video, but it's coming home. All right, so it's up there. And I can remote control it. I don't know for some reason the video is lost. But anyway, let's try to bring it further down. And take an image of that, Daniel. You see? Yeah. It's here, it's flying. It's coming around nicely. All right, it's turning. So line of sight is no problem, I just don't know why don't I have video. Anyway, we'll see it in a second. So it's supposed to go down to not more than five meters. All right, there you go. And on the next turn, I will try to bring it down to land. I've got my video back, sort of. Okay, 
Okay, there you go. Yeah, and the video's only the half frozen. Land, landing button, and it's supposed to come in for landing. Film the drone, please. Yeah. As it flies in, and it comes in, and reverse the pitch for a second there, and it almost overshot the landing. But it did actually land. So hey, the first flight was successful, even though we lost the video, we regained the video, now we have video back. You see, it shows us the, uh, what's that, the, um, the grass where it landed. Test flight was successful. Thank you for watching. Did we, did we have any people watching? Uh, yeah, we did. All right, excellent. Thanks for you guys for watching. So I'll stop the recording here. And then later on, I will post this video. It's really shitty outside, but hey, the flight was successful. Thank you. <laughs> See?